Hello there and welcome to another Flash tutorial brought to you by Tudcast.com. This is Alex from YouTube.com slash Flash Facilito Tips. On this tutorial we're gonna create some cartoon looking text. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is grab your text tool and choose any font you like. I'm gonna choose Verdana Bold just to prove that any font is gonna work. Let's type the word Flash. Alright, now with your selection tool, select your text and go to modify, convert to symbol. Let's call this text and make sure it's a movie clip. Click OK. Now let's double click on the symbol to go inside. Now once we're inside the symbol, select your text again and hit Ctrl B to break it apart. Now with your free transform tool, you can modify each letter individually. You can either scale it, rotate it, do whatever you want. Let's modify them a bit, push them together, make them a bit more cartoonish, and so. You can also move them individually with your arrow keys. Once you have something you like, select your text again and hit Ctrl B to break it apart completely and make it vector art. Now this is perfect because we're gonna apply a gradient to it. Go to your color palette and let's select this linear gradient that's on the corner. For the first square, let's double click on the square and change the color to this blue that we have here. For the second square, let's double click on the, the square and select that same blue, but we're gonna change the color by moving this little triangle that we have here. If we move it down, it's gonna make the color darker, and if we move it up, it's gonna take the darkness away from it, okay? So this looks very cool, but what I don't like is that it's applying, the gradient is applying to each letter individually. And I don't want that. I want to apply to the whole thing. So we're going to select everything and simply grab your bucket tool and click on any letter you want. Very cool. Now it's applying to the whole thing. Now select your gradient transform tool to modify the letter. Simply click and you can stretch it, rotate it, whatever you want. Okay. It looks nice. Now we're gonna apply an outline to our text, but it's not gonna be a regular outline, it's gonna be a sort of a 3D-ish outline. So select your text once again and hit copy. Now we're gonna add a new layer and call this new layer outline. Let's see. Now drag your outline layer to the bottom. What we're gonna do is hit edit and paste in place. It looks like nothing happened because we've pasted it on the exact same place that we have our layer one flash text. So let's take the visibility off and lock our layer one. So now we're working with our outline layer. Next, grab your ink bottle tool and click on each letter on the outline layer to apply the outline. Very cool. Now we're gonna take the visibility on the layer on and you can see that we have our outline. Now block layer one again and we're gonna modify our outline to make it a bit more 3D-ish or add more volume to it. So select your outline and with your arrow keys you can move it down and as you can see it adds a lot more volume to it. You can see the bottom part looks like this and the, the top part looks like it has a thin outline. So I think it looks very good. Now let's double click anywhere outside our text to go outside to the main timeline. Now we have our symbol here and we can apply filters to it because we made it a movie clip. Let's select filters and you can choose any filter you want. Let's apply a drop shadow to it. Modify this a bit, like so. You can apply anything you want. Let's apply a bevel to it, see how it looks. Let's see. It looks kind of nice. Okay, so uh, this is it for this tutorial. Here we have the cartoon text. Let's make it a bit bigger with our free transform tool. And don't forget to check out Toddcast.com for more tutorials. And if you speak Spanish, you might like my channel. That's youtube.com slash flashfacilitotips. All right, that's it. Goodbye.